When you wake up in the morning, do you think about your intentions? The first hadith we would like to share with you is probably the most important hadith in Islam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he said, إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ بِالنِّيَاتِ وَإِنَّمَا لِكُلِّ مْرِئِمْ مَا نَوَى Verily, actions are based upon their intentions. And every person will receive the reward of what he intended. The intention of a person is the most important of all the actions. In fact, it is what determines all the other actions. The place where the intention comes out from is the heart. This is why the Prophet ﷺ, he said in one narration, إِنَّ فِي الْجَسَدِ مُدْغَى إِذَا صَلَحَتْ صَلَحَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ That in the body there is a piece of flesh, meaning the heart. If it is straight and upright, then the rest of the body will also become straight and upright. وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّهُ but if it is corrupt, then the rest of the body will also become corrupt. This hadith also shows us that our intentions determine which actions Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts from us. And which actions Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rejects from us. It is that important. The heart motivates our limbs. It makes us do what we do, to love what we love, to hate what we hate, and to motivate us to make the decisions that we make in life. فَمَنْ كَانَتْ هِجْرَتُهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ the hadith then goes on to give us a practical example how we can better understand this concept of intentions. The Prophet ﷺ said, So whoever makes hijrah for the sake of Allah and His Messenger, then his hijrah is exactly for that, for Allah and His Messenger. The hijrah spoken about here is a physical migration. When people move from a land where they are unable to practice Islam, and they move to a land where they're able to easily worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this journey it may entail some hardships. And the person making this journey might have to make some sacrifices. But he will be rewarded for that migration if it's for Allah and His Messenger. But if a person's migration is for other reasons, Let's say, for example, he wants to earn a salary, move to another country because of a job offer that he has. Or maybe he wants to move to another country to marry a woman from that country. Then that is all good, but his migration will be for that purpose which he migrated. Instead of being rewarded for Allah and His Messenger, his action will be his, according to his intention. Now that is not to say that a person cannot migrate for those mentioned reasons. Surely a person can migrate from one country to another for work purposes and the likes. But remember that if we want to do something for Allah, then we should do it sincerely for Allah and avoid spoiling our intentions for small worldly benefits.